Hi guys, this is Brick and I am here in uh, Northeast Ohio near Lake Erie and my parents have left and here I'm going to review this uh, 3 inch Casio which is connected by, via battery power to a converter box. So you can see there's a wire from the out and it's hooked through the antenna. I've used an antenna right here at the hotel and um, actually it's uh, Northwest Ohio near Toledo between Toledo and Cleveland, near Lake Erie, just saw like that. And as you can see, I got 74 channels. Let's let's go through. I got WKYC, that's Cleveland, NBC, and I'll just go through them. Hold on a bit. Okay, WXYZ in Detroit. WTVG. I got both Cleveland and Detroit stations. WGTE in Toledo. WKBD, that's from. I got a lot of Detroit, Toledo, and Cleveland stations on this antenna, so that's pretty damn cool. Let's start. Let's go to the start for WKYC. Dr. Phil. Wow, and the and the picture is fuzzy, but the sound is great. So it's color. Let's listen. When, when you turn on the TV, it's gonna be like this. There's VHF and it scans, and then it locks on the channel, as you can see. And and of course on the UHF, it scans as if we had that. But the, but the Canadian stations is way too far away. Let's go. Let's go over the channel, shall we? Kind of hard to do this at one point. I'm going to go through all the channels. Damn, that had six sub-channels on channel three. Here's WDIV. Well, darn. You have no signal for channel four from Detroit. Yep, we'll just skip that. Okay, there should be another station that has me TV. I'm quite sure. All right, come on. WEWS, that's from Cleveland. Uh, as you can see, I don't pick that up. Uh, it's really hard to change the channel when... Uh... Oh, never mind. All right, I do pick it up. This is WEWS from Cleveland. So yeah, this is a good picture and everything. I, I, I'll show you the setup just one more time. I got a, I got some two chompers, and they power this. They power this uh, cover box. You can see the. Uh, you can see this. Uh, you can see the plug that's with the converter box is not plugged in, so and it's powered on this battery. This is a good battery power source for when um, I, I'm not able to watch TV for some reason. Let's say this hotel doesn't have any more power. happy with the film, happy with my performance. I was like, okay, I can. All right, it's too many channels, so I won't be able to go through all of them. But that's about all for this. There's an external antenna port on this, and this thing powers on four AA batteries. So anyways, that's about all for my review and my and, and, and my temporary setup as I'm in Ohio near Lake Erie. Anyways, thanks thanks for watching guys. I'm out.